Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to tell you about the convert operator inside the SQL language. So here we have an employee table. I'm going to execute that. We have 14 rows in that employee table. And the convert is a lot like the cast that I've talked about in a previous video. Um, and what we want to do is, so if we take the salary column, um, salary is actually a decimal. And if I highlight the employee table, hold down Alt and hit F1, you'll see that we've got um, salary as a decimal and it's precision seven and scale two. So let's bring that table back up. And what we want to do is first I want to convert that to an integer. And what we're going to do is we select the um, salary column and we want to operate on it. So we're going to put a function around that and we're going to put the convert function. And so you can see that SQL Server helps us out a little bit. And it says the target type, the expression, and then if there's the date, you would put something in there, but we don't need that right now. So the target type we want to be is an integer. And then we want to operate on the salary column, and then we put a parenthesis. And so what that's saying is take the salary column, turn it to an integer using the convert function. So let's execute that. And you can see there's no decimals there anymore. And so what if we want to turn that into a varchar? All we do is change that into a varchar and we can execute that and it works just fine. Now by default the varchar defaults to a size of 30 but we can change it to like a size of 3. If we do that we get what's called an arithmetic overflow error. Um, we, don't, we didn't make the space big enough to hold all the characters of salary. In order to do that we need seven characters. And so if we do that again, it works just fine. So that is the convert function. Um, there's a couple of other things I usually do with it. Uh, one is you can take like the employee name and you can concatenate that with the salary. And so if we did that, you see we get a new column, employee name with the salary. So um, that's the convert function in the SQL language.